I'm Margaret in Windsor, and then I'm going to have to use this Peggy Ann Childers. Um, I married a Childers. I was kidnapped in 41 and brought to Moulton, Alabama, given the name of a dead twin, Peggy, and Carl was dead also, killed by their mom. They were born out of wedlock. Uh, the Illuminati kidnapped me and took down my father, Edward VIII, who was married to an American, Claudia Ruth O'Keefe Windsor. She was the Queen of England in '36 when they brought about the character assassination. Church of England was in on it. You can get some of this. Um, uh, you got Roosevelt, the American president. You got the Kennedys. Jeff K. used to fly into the embassy. 39 to 41, and um, he spoke before Parliament. How's that? But it gets into Winston Churchill, but the American uh, were so involved in it, and some of my own people, sad to say, very sad to say, and some of my family. Now, I wanted to get back to this. Um, I Before I found out about my kidnapping, I started doing a medical malpractice book, writing it. And Larry Flint was one of them that was shot in Lawrenceville, Georgia. I was writing about medical malpractice, but mind control and um, how you can create an illness or cure it or program people. Or Now then, it's mass beyond belief what they can do with it. And I've told about it on the videos, but what I wanted to address here, and I should have started saying this earlier perhaps. I don't want somebody to tune it out. I looked at the YouTubes tonight, and there were a couple of comments on there that I appreciate very much uh, being sent, <clears throat> because I wanted to assure these two people that sent them that the media here has always known the truth about what's going on. I'm going to quote, I, well, I'm going to point you in one direction. Keith Humphrey, maybe, I'm not sure how old you two that commented were, they were separate. Keith Humphrey knows about the uh, murders in Bedford, and you should you would be quite familiar with those, I believe, still. Uh, Jens Orange and Elizabeth Hasem. Believe me, your press here, not just here, uh, your Illuminati controls your press. But there's some other murders that I'm not sure you know about, but everything I've put up there is true, and some of these can be proven without a doubt, really, but you have to get it into court first. Uh, so I'm not going to elaborate. I just really meant to put it up briefly because you commented, and I wanted to tell you that 10, 7, 13, they've all known uh, since 86 about who I am and about what I'm writing about and have uh, the mind control murders. That Did I say Virginia Tech? It's late and I'm kind of tired. I want to thank you, though, for your response. And yes, I'm going to assure you uh, that the Hearst and what was the, the, uh, the uh, I've forgotten her name, I'm sorry, the girl with the, t the TV anchor, or um, and the young man, whether I've forgotten, um, but anyway, yes, that was a mind control shooting, and yes, they know it. Uh, I will go further and say this. Um, when I lived at, uh, this was in 2019, probably about 2010, I was trying to get food because I've been kept penniless and homeless. And I was at the food bank there here in Salem. I'm in Salem right now. But this, I was living, well, that's Roanoke County. So I came over here to try to get some food. And while I was there, I would come over there, I guess, once a month. And a man, I was just standing there waiting for the uh, radar to pick me up. And the man was behind me, dressed in just street clothes. And he introduced him. Well, I don't know that he told me his name. He may have. But at the time, I've forgotten it, if so. But he told me that his wife worked for Channel 7. That was where Hearst and uh, his, uh, his girlfriend was killed. And uh, the other cameraman was killed. And um, 
I believe the man was named, or had been, one of the names he used was Williams that had worked for them briefly or something. That doesn't matter whether he worked there or not, but it was definitely a mind control, uh, the patterns and mind control used on the man to shoot them. I this Back to this uh, quickly. The um, husband of the lady that worked for Channel 7 here in Roanoke told me, uh, that he that they were not going to print anything tell anything about me or what I was speaking of, and I don't want to get him in trouble. It's been a few years back, quite a few, but I did want to tell you this: that everything I've said is true. I've got nothing from it but pain and suffering, including me being kidnapped. But telling the truth, thinking that some parent might like to know the truth about how their child died. Or like uh, Scott Peterson's parents, he's on death row, or Timothy McVeigh, or some others you may know. Everything I've put up is true. Uh, and I wanted to assure you that the uh, the one, Channel 7, that was very much so. But their point was, this man told me he was married to... Uh, I don't remember if he said she was... T well, anyway... He sent her the. He said that Channel Seven sent her out on um, assignment, and um, in other words, his words to me that they're not ever going to uh, tell anything you're saying. 